hit record Cold for the Let's Play channel. The arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Thank Phelps. you, Throat, for the support. Yes, I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? People Phelps, shitting on Phelps? I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. He does do deserve it. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. He cheated on his wife. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. He deserves this. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long then. Start with these two. He I'm cheated fine. on his wife with a German lady. And in the 40s, that was very frowned upon because, you know, then go to Germany. 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Cuff, if you're Get playing out. Yakuza, I guess uh, we'll never see you again. Alright, we got the Sawyer house fire and the Stefan's house fire. Well, cheating in general is frowned upon. Most definitely. But, you know, if you're dating somebody from Germany and you live in America, people aren't going to be like, what the, the main reason fuck so in 2024? Throat, good morning. What if you cheat life? Then you're probably a millionaire. Or a billionaire. They do turn a blind eye on that, Coles, but it was 1947 where the white man still ran supremacy, God forbid. So people didn't really bat an eye at someone being a piece of shit like that. But cheating was it infidelity? Is that the right word? With your wife? With a German lady in 1947? We were just killing the Germans a few years ago. Un. Not allowed. You still got called a Nazi for being German? We can do the small talk thing now. There's some uh, horrible people on the internet. You know. Down, hot shot. Need a buddy? Look somewhere else. There are some horrible people on the internet. Also, good morning, Shark. So this is how it's going to be, partner. I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking in this. We're on the arson desk. We'll see how we do. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. <laughs> no offense, Phelps. <laughs> none taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. They didn't come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Look at the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. You guys think uh, we can get this game done this weekend? It's been a good game. It's It's been around week. I think we started it last week, right? We started it Friday. Mr. Stevens, Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? John Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a for 
formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Catalina Island, September 19th. Issued September 18th, 1947. Travel competition. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. He has no reason to lie to us. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. Suburban Redevelopment. The Redevelopment Fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. I feel like he still doesn't have a reason to lie. GI house? But he did. Yeah, something like that. Well, I suck. Moment, Mr. All right. I suck. Way to go, A1. Why didn't you stop me from sucking? Is that all there is here? Son of a bitch looks a lot like the cop who pointed the gun at me. Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. Yuck life. Maybe. No. Maybe A1 likes the sucking. Gonna put a freaking yuck Probably. W. I've been watching GC play some of uh, the the new Yakuza. What is it? Infinite Wealth, I think it's called. Yakuza is a goddamn crazy game series, man. Absolutely crazy. I don't know what's going on in that game. There's nothing in the fire for evidence, so I mean, I guess. Well, I guess I could check if we have everything. No, there's still something here. Maybe we have to talk to the, the wife, eh? What's up, Leno? What's up, Devil Legacy? Good morning, gamers. Happy uh, Saturday to you. Congrats, you made it. Congratulations, you made it to Saturday. Hopefully, you all have fun weekends planned. Leno, thanks for the prime for 42 freaking months. God damn. God damn, 42 months. Holy moly. Thank you for the continued support. It means a lot. Hope you enjoy the emotes as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. GameCube game is this Falcus you cheated to the boss? Dude, I got a fucking sponsorship opportunity about a dating app. They didn't say and they didn't like leave any links or anything. They were just like, we would love we love your content. We'd love to sponsor you about our new dating app. And I'm just like, what the fuck? No, I'm not gonna take a date and app sponsorship. Like, why are you advertising that to me? I don't care. I'm not looking to date anybody ever. I'm in a happy relationship and have been for fucking almost five years. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Also, what up, Aethers? Maybe chat is? I wouldn't. All right, let's go to the other house fire, but first let's uh, 
make a quick phone call over here. I'm going up to the lake I just deleted the email. I was like, ah, I'm not doing this. Phelps, bad 1247. How can I help, detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. Do you have an address for them? There is one listed here. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. Suburban Redevelopment. Yeah, Aethers, I get some weird sponsorships. Inquiries at times. Whenever there's a paid collaboration or paid opportunity in the email, I'm always a little more intrigued. Because I can't really respond to all the emails. Sawyer House Fire. Have there been any other house fires? This is our city. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Alright, well, let's go to the Sawyer House Fire next. Ten years, throat. Ten years. Let's have him drive to it. You know the way. You can drive. Yeah, like Lala said, just date people from Twitch chat. God, when I was an Overwatch streamer, I swear that's what my Twitch chat felt like. Any century unit, any century unit, 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street, unit to handle code 3. It was horrible. This is 11K, we'll handle the 211. 11 King Roger, you're 211. The worst thing about when your Twitch chat starts dating is if two of them start dating, then they break up and then none of them show up anymore because they think it would be awkward. And then it's just like, ugh. Oh. I don't like the look of this. There go two. There go two subs. You know the drill. Hand over your money or get used to breathing dirt. All right, just take it easy. Quit waving that cannon in my face and let's talk. We're done talking. Understand? God you damn. Exactly five seconds. One. Two. LAPD. How long do you think you can hold out? Headshots only. Headshots only. What's up, Toadette, honey? How are you doing? Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Don't be so negative. Some of them stay together. This is actually true. Some of them do stay together. A couple people got married together and they live in California now. And I assume, I hope they're living their best life. Speaking of getting married, did you know you can buy a limited time uh, merchandise from Tantrum Collectibles for Valentine's Day? Glad I had him drive. I'm not going all the way back over there. You're behind the wheel. You can buy merchandise. Limited time. Uh, there's two mugs. There's a yuck mug and then a non yuck mug. And that's all. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of arson. A family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Instaheat Model 70. Before you get excited, you get a couple of water heaters a month go back. 
Take a look around the yard. See what you can find. What up, monk? Good morning. Oh, this is depressing. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, this guy must be kids. so busy. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. Yeah. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. How much game is there left? Go look up how many arson cases there are, and that's how many cases are left. Because this is the first arson case, so... If you look up how many arson cases there are, that will give you a determination of how much game we have left. Alright, faulty water heater potentially again. This is where I stopped playing the last time I played L.A. Noir. I got bored in the friggin' arson cases, and I stopped playing. It says 20. 20 arson cases?! Oh, Jesus, we're gonna be here for a while. Alright, so, uh, Marbles might get delayed by a month. Hey, I've done all the DLC cases as well. Hot new game, Persona 3. How is that a hot new game? It's a remake. Listen, I didn't get sponsored to play that game like everybody else did. I, I saw the Persona 3 tab. I clicked it yesterday. There was just sponsored, 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 sponsored. And I'm like, okay, none of these people probably ever played Persona. Who's everybody else? I don't know. I just opened up Persona 3 tab and saw like the first 10 people were all sponsored to play. It's a remake. Hey, it was new to me. Persona would be new to me, but I ain't touching it. Five Five's playing the Persona game. Yeah, he was sponsored. He'll be like every other sponsored streamer, play it once and then never play it again. That's usually how sponsorships work. You play the game once and then you never really end up playing it again. Because they're not paying you to play it again. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being sponsored to play a game. Get that bag. Get the money. Where the hell is the goddamn water heater? Okay, first off, I knew what I was doing getting into that snap addiction. I knew it was gonna happen. I was wait I was waiting for a good excuse to play Marvel Snap and me getting a few extra hundred bucks. That's a good excuse. Sponsored to play Tiny Rogs. This is true. I got sponsored to play Tiny Rogs. I played it. And then I played it some more. Don't want to watch the same story game for 100 hours. I will never play Persona. I will never play Persona. 
Persona's a marbles game? And I still say no. And I still say no to it. I am not touched. That's not. Persona is just not a stream game. You ain't even play it? I've seen it. I know it's not a stream game. Anything more on Marvel Snap like sponsorship? What do you mean anything more on it? Played FF16. FF16 was the worst performing game on my channel. That's not a good stream game either, but I still played most of it. Never hear back from them. Marvel Snap? Well, I mean, I'm a Marvel Snap content creator. I am in the creator program, and I did the sponsorship back in October, November. So, you know. What else What else more is there to hear, hear about? Yeah, Persona's probably a great game. You know, a lot of people like it for a reason. I just don't think it would be a good game to stream. Unless you're making some money streaming it with a sponsorship and selling it to other people, which other people will probably buy because you're streaming to people that don't stream. They could give me more money. They do give me free gold every month. Man, there is nothing here. I think I see why I quit playing during the arson cases. I, I, I probably sucked and couldn't find anything. Where's the damn water heater? No, I'm not getting anything else from Snap besides being in the creator program. Going here. Where the hell is it? So the music stops. Have a good day at work, pirate. What's up, gamer pro? Good morning. Did I hit the Iron Man milestone? <laughs> no. I'm close to it. It's the last one I need, but I didn't hit it. Tuesday? I don't know why you ask every day. Yesterday you asked, it was Friday. Today, it's the next day. You should know what day it is. It's Saturday. Where the hell is this thing? Maybe I just need to talk to somebody? Talk to him, maybe? Nope. The ambulance, maybe? This is pretty grim stuff, officer. You mind leaving me alone? No, my bad. Hey, Biggs, is this significant? There it is. Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere, but little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the company? Gulliver's Travels, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. That was a big help. Phelps, Agarasa Street. Chris 
soon. Like Spike. Hurry, you can still catch him. Oh, thanks. You're not gonna help. You started running with me, but then you're like, ah, I'm too old for this. Damn, no hats fell off. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're not a boy, aren't you, Herbert? Whoa. I keep myself to myself. You're a naughty boy. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you're finished following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lenny. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You Took me a little bit to find that valve, but I got it. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. What's up, Road? Happy today. House fires, cold, accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? Damn. Okay, anyways, so let's go to the Gulliver's Travel Agency next. So, uh, yeah. Have we actually figured out how many arson cases there are in this game? Or was Shark actually telling the truth and there's 20? Got another thingy. Where am I? On the map. Oh, I am far away from that. Let's have him do it. They ripped off Animal Crossing. That's fine. Look at him. You can drive. The girlies are fighting. Six on the wiki. Five, six if you count the DLC. Okay, so there's only six cases left then. Okay, go ahead. There's only six cases left in the game. Last Saturday, I think I did like four cases, so not gotta do six in one sitting, but I'll probably I could do three or four of them. They take about an hour each. What's the situation? Some stick-up boys lost their heads and a girl got shot. We have to move fast, sir. There are still people inside. At this rate, I'm still going to try to get every single uh, street crime done. Dude, frickin' Biggs is just walking in there. Oh, that's a pedestrian. Headshot. Is 23 grams of sugar a lot for chocolate milk? That's a lot of sugar, yes. A can of Pepsi has about 34 grams of sugar. Maybe 40. It's 
It's not enough sugar. What? You wait. Can you go out to this one? Now, all our jobs will be done by robots. There is a thing called too much. You guys know that? It's like, hey, how many Big Macs is too much? One. Oh, I just ate seven. Seven? Yeah. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? All right. Stephens. Here they are. Stephens. Kind of want a Big Mac now. I am also a fan of Big Macs. Sawyer on you? The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Suburban Redevelopment. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotion hey, not good gamer. Half of LA. That's true. Truth. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. What's up, Okami? I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. We had a Big Mac you yesterday. The prize won by the Sawyer family. Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Achieve maximum rank. Hey! If you put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer. Dropped a 40-18 game in Modern Warfare 3 TDM last night. You still got it. These kids are baby food. God damn. You gonna do anything? You gonna to do anything, Cat, on the 14th? She wants to order Popeyes because Popeyes is running a promotion every single week for uh, the Oilers where they have a fucking special cup that has a player's name on it. And on the 14th, it starts the promotion for her second favorite player on the team. So we're going to get Popeyes. But we are going to go to a uh, Oilers game on the 21st. So I count, the, count that as like a little Valentine's Day thing. So we're going to a hockey game the week after. Let me guess. Which I'm you excited want to check for. Out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike. Hey, also, what's up, Yodes? Good morning. Getting Popeyes romantic as hell. She loves Popeyes. She was just like, man, if I could just have Popeyes fries for dinner. And I'm just like, what? She's like, I would just eat Popeyes fries for dinner. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Okay. I mean, yeah, I respect it. Who the hell doesn't like Popeyes fries? Burr's the reason. If they win every game until then, their winning streak's gonna be at like 20 games. So we'll see. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You know the way. You can drive. 
Okay, well, first off, we can't seem to get into the car. I'm not driving that, fa that far. You know the way. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. You can't remember the last time you saw onion rings? Beer battered onion rings are the best. Also, at first, I was never a big fan of the Popeye's biscuits. And then one day, I just ate one of the biscuits and was like, this is so good. And now every time I get Popeye's, it's kind of like, do I get a couple biscuits instead of fries? Hands off, I'm sick! Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? It's the what best happened? Colts. Oh my god. Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. The vag says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you know! Not much of a witness. Sir, you need to tell us where they went. Now. They headed for the parking lot. Fucking, they started off like 3 and 12, the Oilers, and now they're freaking fighting for third place in their division. They're only behind Canucks and the Golden Knights. Then again, their winning streak's on the line next game against the Golden Knights, so that'll be a fun one to see on Tuesday. I'll be watching that one. You got it! What the okay. fuck? One traffic stop coming up. How strong are these fences? Popeyes in Brazil doesn't sell biscuits. Is that legal? Fuck. What a turn. We're getting all the street crimes done early on, so that's good. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Don't have Popeyes over here. You're missing out. Something's gonna stop him before I do. Oh my god, I lost a goddamn wheel. A&W is so good in Canada. I hear the A&Ws in the US absolutely suck compared to the Canadian ones. Nice, we did it. There's only five more street crimes for us to do, so... a and w is a root beer they have the best root beer you can drive but uh it's a fast food restaurant i'm pretty sure it's more prominent in canada like it's in america but it's more prominent in canada and it's owned by like it's run by like different companies i think This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Fire station number 32. A and W and KFC combination. He says we should visit at the fire station 32. That's something I've never heard. Exactly There's a KFC Taco Bell combination here. But right when we moved, they got rid of the Taco Bell, so now it's just a KFC, and it's just like, oh come on, really? 
Who the hell wants KFC? I, I'm not a fan of KFC, really. The only thing that's okay is their freaking popcorn chicken. But Taco Bell has, you know, a handful of items that are good if you feel like eating it. I want to see if we get another street crime. There's only five more. Which is why I'm driving this time. KFC's good enough for you. Nuh-uh. Came as soon as we could. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Take a look. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. What? Your regulator's in position. I guess I need to switch these two around. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Who does this guy? Rusty sounds like someone. Who is this guy? Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard. How did these people remember? Thanks, Albert. Devil, that's Welcome such a good deal because chicken is so goddamn expensive. It's like you buy 15 pieces of chicken for $22. What the hell? What? What? Insta Heat Factory. Show? The next fight. We should go to the factory. See how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. He loves fires. He's the kind of guy. That... At least we'll know where we've been if we try to retrace our steps. We were in the middle of talking. The guy's a freak. He loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. We don't really have any credible evidence to pursue them. Making a sausage and pancake sandwich. Intriguing. Intriguing. One time when I was at work, I brought. When I used to work at the chicken place, I one time would bring. I would bring a waffle maker in sometimes, and we would make waffles. And one time, someone went to go buy ice cream, and you ever just have two syrupy waffles and slap vanilla ice cream in between it, like an ice cream sandwich? 
It's quite delicious. Alright, insta heat. Sounds like way too much sugar. Listen, I was like 20 at the time or 19. I could handle that much sugar. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. My wife is so dumb, she stares at orange juice for hours. Well, it does say concentrate on the carton. That son of a bitch looked a lot like the cop and pointed his gun at him. Where's Mr. Ray Six office? Not in your life, Buster. How bad is he? Come on, you can tell me. Glass line needs to heat. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Eighty-two dollars for a water heater or a gas water heater. Does that line up with today's prices if we look at $82.50 in 1947 to today's money? What's the rush? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70 here. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the Saturn here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Gas taking this down? It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. $1,200. What's eighty-seven fifty in 1947 to today's money, then? So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't <clears throat> think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You know, I, I feel like he's telling the truth. How many guys would know how to make that change? I was wrong. <laughs> All you need is a screwdriver and a wrench. Anybody could pull it apart and put it back. Damn it. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. Well, the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. He's doubting it again. You employ accredited mechanics oh. to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, uh, they're gas fitters. Installers, then. I'm an idiot. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. We're looking for Valentine there, or something? A dozen of them. The housing business is going crazy at the moment. Hey, buddy. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. What the hell? Where's his phone? Eighty-seven dollars and nineteen forty-seven dollars is twelve hundred dollars today. Look at that! Wow, they got the price spot on. Three blondes walk into a bar. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. The Princess Peach game. It looks good. Phelps bed. I might buy it depending on how much it costs. How can I help, detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. 
Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Okay, anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Jesus. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. You know, I remember in a single one, let alone being able to give you detailed info on them. This is why it's, she's paid the big bucks, Kayvon. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. What the hell are all these? Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place. Don't we all? Nothing significant. Okay. Walter Clemens. He also has the law authority. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Nothing in there. The company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with the bugs. Interesting. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. It gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Interesting. Do we have to go to all... Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? We'll go Clemens first. But who's on this locker if you only get one chance? That one's Varley, so if we only have one chance, we're gonna go to Varley first. How the hell do I get out of here? What's the rush? Oh. What the hell was that? Fine. But if the skipper sees us driving around this, we're dead. Gotta drive all the cars. How are we gonna look getting around 
in this state for? 18. You got Yoda at work because you couldn't activate the card holder's card? Why was it your... T why was it your... Why did you have to activate it? Isn't it their card? Don't they have to activate it? All the way from Barley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the dot out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. Oh, for God's sakes. Where with a World War I veteran? Oh, man. Nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Because his phone was wet and he's not rich and he's not rich to own a laptop? I'm very confused. LAPD Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Barley. Detroit police have an outstanding warrant out. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Barley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guess is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot. I think we got the wrong guy. You're crazy? Take him away, officer. We definitely got the wrong guy for the arson case. I think we're going to Ryan's next. No, corner third and Catalina for Clemens. I think it's Walter Clemens. Because all the other ones were Catalina. Imagine you're getting your gas changed or your water heater fixed and your guy gets arrested for murder. I like to leave your mark, don't you? Damn right I do. Oh, this is the wrong one as well. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Knowledge of Varley. You know Reginald Varley? No. Can't say I do. He's doubting. Uh, he's lying. I'm doubting him. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. He does their work first. He spreads around if he can. Employment with Instaheat. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? like fires, don't you, Clemens? You serviced the house on Kenmore Avenue. You manipulated the regulator valve. 
I don't remember even working a job on Kenmore Avenue, much less sabotaging the place. What proof have you got? What? This is Clemens, not Ryan. You don't ask, you never find out. Instead, hires arsons. It was doubt. I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Knowledge of Ryan. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. He's lying. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? Well, it's one of these. Which one is it? Does it matter which one it is? We found a pamphlet yep. in your locker, Clement. We can add your name to the register. Hueck might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Oh, jeez. The last... How did I get the last guy wrong? How did I do it? Ryan's work site. It's Matthew Ryan. Sounds like the name of a politician. It sounds like the name of a white politician from, like, Florida. Trying to do good for the city, but in reality, he's corrupt. Wait, isn't that the name of a politician? Wasn't that freaking... Oh, what's, uh... Mitt Romney? When he was running for president against Obama? Who was his running mate? Wasn't it a Ryan? Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs. Arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. I'll just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said this. Bitch. Why does everybody just run? Those are GI's backyard just crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. Lay into those wheel wells. Come on. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Dude, or what kind of wood is that? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, he's slowing down. What a nice guy. He's got an arson related assault charge and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in the room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to stop. Don't go to sleep. I've been getting close. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Shoot the wheel! Jesus, what is he doing? The tram! Oh, Jesus! We got him. Hands behind your head! Why did you run? Mitt Romney's runaway was Paul Ryan. It was a Ryan. Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. 
and being a Satanist. That was illegal in the 1600s. Put your hands up. I'm from it. You give me your money or I will shoot. Sleepy Burr. Burr. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. Boo! Piku, thanks for the tier three for 53 months. Get some love in for Piku for the tier three for 53 months. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. How far away is that? It's very far. Let's do the street crime. I have him drive to the street crimes because I don't want to. I've already got the achievement for driving like 200 miles. Let's just have him do the rest of the driving. Or I guess you can get some buzz in there. Thank you, Piku, though. Hope you're doing good. Happy Saturday. Car 11 King responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Boo! Jesus Christ. Notify the coroner's office. It's not often you get them this easy. The driver left his car behind and hoofed it. Any witnesses? None of them saw the crash, but by the blood, I'd say the driver can't be too far. Lurking on all the detective action. Yeah, we're going to try to get three cases done today, three done tomorrow. We'll see where the driver went. I saw a guy run up that alley. We got six cases left to do, including this one. So after this one, we got five cases left. It's apparently five arson cases and one DLC one. Suspect escaped. I don't even know where he was. Did you try the new roguelite last night? I did. It was Go Mecha Ball. It's a hard game, but it's a fun game. Doesn't seem like it's super long either. He's hiding around here somewhere. I know it. It's not the guy that looks like Richard Nixon. You've seen a man covered in blood. We're chasing a hit and run suspect. Went to ground in the alley. Yeah, the voice acting and facial expressions are very impressive. Mostly the facial expressions are very impressive for 2011. Where the hell is this guy? So, I think we need to take a look over here. Oh.
Partner, I think we got our guy. <laughs> God, man. I only fell asleep for a second. I've never had any trouble like this before, officer. Never, William ever. William Shelton? Oh, Christ. It's you. Look, you gotta believe me. I'm no criminal. What's up, Alistray? Ellie Nor is your favorite roguelike? Of course. It's only four Come more on, street William. crimes. All right, let's go apprehend. Let's go get these suspects questioned. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. I used to be indecisive. Charge and a suspect will close the case. I swear, Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Kind of looks like Chan and Tatum. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, is it just me? He kind of looks like Chan and Tatum. Why? I don't think. Oh. This is industrial sabotage, Brian. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Okay, Insta-heat model 70. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve? Model 70 heater. No, I don't. Let me review the evidence. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Well, there was a heater serviced by you. Looks like you're the one who needs advice on how to do his job. What? What? What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think suburban is a front for you. I didn't enemies. have the clue. Did I have the wrong the one? While you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Attempted murder charge. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. That's a lie. You're lying, Ryan. 
What's up, Chibi? Exactly also, hey, Mark. That? Welcome in. Was it this one? Because these are exactly the same. You were charged with attempted murder, Brian. Oh, I'm messing up one question with the manager. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Asbestos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Hmm. Could be either one. But we have to go talk to the other one. I think Ryan is our man. The procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Bob. Now Pete Short strips off me at the grand jury. Face is thrown. Who the hell is Varley? All right, let's see what we got. Bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Oh, my. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm, I'm flat out on new installations. Hmm, he might be lying. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with wrecks like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Well... Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though, because he still wouldn't sell. Suburban redevelopment. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principal. I don't think I have anything to lie about it. I was wrong. What's up, Andy? How are you doing? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, I shot a loan shark who was squeezing my brother for the bait. That's why you ran? I ran because the guy who ran that racket will kill me. Instaheat Model 70. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. I'm out of your mind. If I say doubt... I guess I can determine if he did it or not. Give me some Damn it! Or I'll put it all on you. Hey, look, I could try to pin this on one of the other guys, but I'd just be making something up. We're done for now. I got two of them wrong again. So what happened? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. We're going to charge Ryan with it. Don't waste it any on the side. Beat her up so bad. When I found him, I returned the favor. I don't 
need this. You see his lovely wife and children in the paper? Let's charge Ryan with it. I think it was Ryan. This guy gave his wife a tap. I say all fair in love and war. Wait, we just talked to you. Wait, is this Ryan? Nah, it's Varley. Where the hell is he? You really think I'm gonna squeal? You're a real asshole. Do you know that? Thanks. God, I always get lost in these goddamn places. Right here he is. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that bad. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer. Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Oh. We might have got the wrong one. Phelps. What you did to your wife and kids is on American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say, before I was interrupted, was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. You don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp on my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. I think we got the wrong guy, maybe. I missed one clue. That's probably three stars. Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. Well, hopefully we got the right guy. Like and subscribe. Let's play channel. I guess. The gas man.